Hello, this is Ozan Uzun from IBM Lab Services and today we have a new product actually it's an updated version of PowerKVM 3.1 uh, uh, now I'm going to show you the interface, the web GUI of PowerKVM uh, this is called Kimchi, uh, it is written in HTML5 it looks user friendly, it is nice but on previous versions there are some uh, functionalities missing but I think with this version they they did a very good job so this is a general overview of kimchi you can see system statistics, basic information, software updates you can actually when you click this update all it will just update like with yum update command it's doing the same stuff and here let's see first begin with network on the network tab you can see that these are the default ones they are not any isolated that they are created by default and I think uh, I will not, I'm not going to use these virtual bridges instead I created a virtual bridge uh, let's see how that is done when I click this plus green nice button you can just say test and you can see they're isolated no external network connection if it's and or network address translation and bridged mostly a it's widely used in utilization environments you see it, I have uh, some interfaces but only uh, for this demo uh, I have only one and this is this interface that we ran p1 something it's already used so you just click there put the name if it is if it is a VLAN adapter it's a trunk adapter you can enable VLAN and you can type and it will just create like like this it's a test you see it's a test and uh, I cannot use it because it's not connected physically but for this demo I think demonstration I am going to use this IIC network I will click here and just say start so it's already been started L let's check the storage you see uh, these two are coming by default ISO and default this is a, f this is a directory type of uh, storage uh, in that one you can see this is a, a file system let me show you this is my power kvm server if I do this you can easily see that this area just like that slash wildly delivered images this is the the D5 system for operating system images if we are using the local disks like for this demonstration but in real uh, production environments uh, local disks are not widely used so there are some better options of, for that one you can see storage pool name like say uh, dem1 you can see we have directory nfs iscsi and logical and it's got a fiber channel for that one I used logical because this is my uh, store wise this is my store wise storage it's an IBM storage v7000 uh, it is if you can see no you can uh, it's a multi-pad multi device and uh, I, I got two 300 gigabytes of loons and I just added that there and on kimchi 3.1 you can easily see that you, you just click this one oh you see already there are there it's, sh it's showing the uh, images there so let's come to the templates the logic with power KVM is you first create templates which, which are just the resource allocations and when you created after you created the templates you will just 
create uh, or deploy guests. So let's create a new template. Plus button again. Local ISO image. I already uploaded this ISO in that media library like lip lip with images. I just click this one. I got two here, Ubuntu and Reddit Little Indian. Let's see, create templates from selected ISO. So this is a default one. Yes, this is the nice thing about that me show you. Let's see. Hate this of memory. Storage. You can see I have three storage pools. This is the default one and this is a tricky one. On the previous versions the other uh, formats are formats are not supported by Kimchi. You, you were able to do it on a console VSH CLI like VSH commands, but here you see we got all of them. The default is QCode 2, it's a nice format which supports the improvising snapshots and everything. Uh, let's see, let's begin with this one. By the way, uh, this is also when you use this one, it's just it's a logical volume. It's just you can see row. Let's, see, let's start with uh, default storage. Let's see interface. This is the interface button. This is a network, and on my example, I'm using the IAC network, and you can define more than one by just clicking this plus. This plus sign on right is the <laughs> official way of adding stuff. Processor. Yes, this is a nice thing. And a, a, a nice feature of Kimchi the new version. On the previous version you were just able to create just with like CP number one, three or four, and, but you were not able to define the threads of it. And the thread is very important on some applications and it's one of the nice features of power processors. So if you, I click this one, I will say, for example, I want two cores and one, two, four and eight threads. Be careful, uh, eight threads is only supported by recent uh, operating system. For example, if you are using Reddit 6, you cannot use it a thread. You will define it here, but operating system will only recognize four of it. So let's see. This is an Ubuntu, and it's one of the latest versions. It is are okay by me. Let's say save. The template is done. So it's two cores, eight threads. So the operating system will recognize it as sixteen logical CPUs. Let's click the guests. On the guest tab. Okay, again the plus. Click the plus. I got two templates. Let's say Ubuntu test fifteen four. Oh, that's okay. Click this one. You will see. Let's say great. See, we we'll start turning. It's ready. Okay, when I click now the storage, you will see on the default one. Up, oh, the Ubuntu. No, uh, this guy. Cook up to. Can I right click? No. Okay, let's start my guest. You see, uh, it's a small inline image, but actually it's a video. Let me click on top of it. This is a yes, yes. I mean, it's an encrypted VLC connection. English, United States, no. English, English. You see, you see how easy installation with Kimchi is. Just define the template and just deploy. I think that's enough for now. Like in two minutes, my installation will be finished anyway. 